Hi, hiking in the Norwegian mountains. This is what for many people come here. But it is important to understand that it is not just a walk in the park. And in order for the trip to be safe and you enjoy the process, you need to prepare in advance and think over everything. Let's start with the main question. How and where to look for hiking trails? Norway has a lot of mountains and trails for different levels of training. And you can find more information on the website ut.no. Go to the map section and by switching layers you can find the roads for your taste. Also, here you will find all necessary information, lengths, elevation, profile and sometimes even photos from the trail, which will give you an idea of both the views that await you at the top, as well as the type of soil and the difficulty of the climbs. And if you decided to go to an unpopular place that is not marked on the ut.no map, you can roughly understand the elevations by switching the Google map to terrain layer and counting the isobars. In general, we recommend checking its length and complexity at the planning stage of the road, and it's reasonable to compare it with your strengths. But now, let's talk about the levels of the trails and their color markings. Trails that are marked in green on maps and sites are considered the easiest. Their length is usually up to 5 km long, with a total elevation of no more than 300 meters, and they are definitely within the power of everyone. Blue trails up to 10 km long and with a total elevation of up to 600 meters can be a significant test for any tourist without preparation. So you should take such a hike with a full responsibility. Red trails are suitable for experienced and hardy travelers. At the rule they can be both long and with a significant elevation on black ones, you may even need climbing skills and special equipment. We recommend planning black and red hikes only after completing few blue hikes. And a good example of a blue hike would be Prekestulen. Only 4 km in each way and about 400 meters of elevation gain. So this is a great place to see if you are ready for something more challenging that the level of the difficulty of the trail can always be checked at the website ut.no or directly at its beginning on the signs. And now imagine that you found perfect trail by length and according to your strengths. So now it's time to talk about three things that you need to consider before going to the mountains. And the first thing is the weather. After all, it can turn into a nightmare even a perfectly planned trip. You can check the weather on the website ur.no. Always check the weather forecast in advance and see what happened the day before so the trail is not in poor condition. It is equally important to think about the time of the year and daylight hours. Before hiking, study the time of the sunset and compare with the estimated time of hike, not forgetting to add time for rest and photos. Plan the start time of the hike so you don't get into the situation where you have to walk back over the rocks in the dark. This is not safe. And in general, always get on the trail as early as possible, so as not to rush. The second thing you should pay attention to before the trip is your clothes. Always wear suitable clothing and footwear. Remember that it will be colder in the mountain and more windy at higher altitudes. In general, it is best if the clothing is layered. Then it will be easier for you to regulate your comfortable temperature. The top layer should be waterproof, which will help you to stay dry in the cloud and resist wind blowing. Shoes should be with the hard soil, hold the foot and repel moisture, because there may be wet soil and streams along the trail. By the way, we recommend taking hiking poles as an additional equipment. During ascents and descents they will help to save your legs and knees, transferring part of the weight to your arms and shoulders. And in winter, spring or late autumn, spikes on boots will definitely come in handy, as there may be part of the trail with snow or even ice. In general, don't repeat our mistake of the first hike and don't go to the mountains in sneakers and jeans. This is a bad idea. Sneakers have two soft soles and you will feel every pebble on the trail with your foot. 
and the next couple of days your feet will remind you of this mistake. And jeans perfectly absorb moisture and get wet in the clouds or streams along the trail. The third thing you should pay attention to is what to put in your backpack. Always pack your backpack slowly and visualize yourself on the trail during the entire hike. The content of the backpack is highly dependent on the trail you have chosen, the weather and your plans for the night. Of course, the set of hiking equipment is individual. But in the article on our website we wrote our own personal list, after looking at which you might add something to yours. But still, the most no. important rule is not to take too much, be practical yeah. and never forget to take enough water. It is also worth remembering that in summer you will definitely need sunglasses, because the snow that is almost always in the mountains is very blinding. And despite the fact that Norway is a northern country, on a sunny day sunscreen is also useful, because in the mountains, in the open space you can burn out very quickly. We hope after watching our video your hike in the Norwegian mountains will be perfect. After all, now you are well versed in important nuances and you will take into account all the little things. And this video on our channel will help you to make the best road for traveling by car. And in just 7 days you will be able to see 10 of Norway's most beautiful and iconic tourist spots. So subscribe to our channel, let's learn new things and travel together. And see you again!